Hey guys, um, today, sorry. Um, today I'm gonna try this Betty Crocker Reese's Dessert Bar Mix. This is the no-bake kind. It says delicious no-bake recipe convenient pan inside, which is nice. Um, includes the chocolate crust, peanut butter, bar filling, and chocolatey topping. So it sounds excellent. It does have box tops, so save your box tops if you do. Um, let's see, one fifteenth of the package, which is probably a square about that big, is prepared as 180 calories. So it's not low calorie either. So what we need to do for um, all together, we need a tablespoon of water. Oh, uh, we got this at Target for 3.89. Tell me when. So I knew talked about money. Uh, we got a Target for 2.89, and Rembrandt 133 told us these were out here. And did they recommend or just say we should try? It? Told us they were out there. Okay. Were they 2.89 or 3.89? Sorry, 3.89. Okay. See, this is not a one man video. Just let you know. Um, so anyway, what you need is you need a tablespoon of water. This is everything. A tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of butter, margarine, soften. And then you need a half or a half a stick softened butter. So I, I have a half stick. We buy half sticks of butter. And then I had some butter left over that's a, actually two tablespoons. So I've got that here. Um, you also need a bowl of, of warm, it's hot water. It's gotten cool by now, but I'll get hot water here in just a second. And you put the, um, well, I'll just go through that again. So what I want to do, again, it's no bake, so that's good. There's a, should be about three pouches in here. You have a topping pouch, which I'm assuming is going to be one of those four pouches in here. Topping, chocolate topping. This is going to go into a bowl of hot water, which, like I said, mine's warm. I'm going to put hot water in it before I, before I put it in there. Not really getting it wet. Um, do not microwave it. It just says put it in the water and set it aside. Um, we're going to take the two tablespoons of water, I mean, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of butter. And we're going to mix our tablespoon of water up in here and mix in our crust mix. So let me get some hot water and get a measuring spoon and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I gathered myself, here's my warm water. Actually, it's hot water. So I'm just going to kind of squish this all down to the bottom and stick that topping mix right in that water. Since I'm also, I'm going to microwave this anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to dip my water right out of here. So we need a tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of margarine or butter. And we need our crust mix. And it specifically says, do not stir. So, crust mix, crust mix. Does that one say crust mix? No, oh, crust mix. Uh-huh. I knew one of them would say crust mix. It's a lot harder than I thought. Let me get a pair of scissors out. Anyway, it says, do not stir. So we're basically just going to pour this right in here. Oh, it's chunky like uh, graham cracker crust with the butter already in there. That's kind of unusual. Um, so I'm going to get this in the microwave. What you do is you microwave uncovered for 45 seconds. Wow, that smells good. Mm, smell that. It's good and chocolatey. Mmm, chocolate. Uh, I'm going to stir this. I'm going to put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. And then I'm going to stir it with a fork and press it into this pan ungreased. So just like it is, we're going to press it in the bottom of this pan. So I'm going to get in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave, and you can see it's you now liquidy. So it says just stir it up with your fork. It feels like a moist cake mix. It, it does smell really good. It looks like a wet sand. Yeah. It's just a dark color. But see, it, it, rem it reminds me of a cake that's already been cooked and you put it into something like milk or something that's kind of liquidy. Well, <laughs> that's what see. it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I can see Okay, that. so what, ooh, that's hot. Um, so what we're going to do is don't grab it on the bottom and <laughs> drop it in this pan. Do you do the bottom, press it in the bottom yeah. earlier or does it, it go it, from it the bottom? It says, sides? it just says press it into the pan. So I'm assuming it's going to, we're just going to fill up the bottom. Okay. And that's kind of what the picture looks like is it's just kind of filling up the bottom. It's too thin to be a couple of sides. I do think it's interesting they give you the pan. I think that's cool. Of course, you can, it's not baking it, so it's really just a cardboard pan. So it's not like 
they're having to worry about you getting it hot and baking it and all that stuff. But still, it's I cool. think it's interesting that they really believe this should serve 15 people. I know. One fifteenth of that. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a square about that big. Yeah, put your hand up against that to show. I mean, that's, yeah, exactly. And I don't have huge yeah, hands Yeah, that's either. supposed to serve 15 people. Guess what? I don't think so. That's like a single serving for us. <laughs> yeah. Well... Back a few years ago, we would have split this in half and oh, eaten half yeah, of it each. Oh, yeah, definitely. I could eat the whole pan of that. <laughs> I could now, too, but I'm saying back in the day, we would have We would have definitely, half the pan. yeah. No problem. No, even, not even a question. No. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, now that that's done, you take another bowl and take your half stick of butter. And you can do margarine, too, but it does say if you're going to use margarine, make sure it's uh, more than 65% oil. So, I don't know. What you can look up to look at that, but that's what it says. Um, all right, so I'm going to get this in the microwave for 15 seconds, and then I'm going to fill the stir in the filling mix and the peanut butter. So I'll be back once this comes out of the microwave. Okay, I have my half stick of butter melted. I just say butter, joking when I like that, by the way. Um, so you take your topping mix or your filling mix, I'm sorry, and dump it in here. Is this the part that tastes like peanut butter? Or? And well, we've got peanut butter right here. Oh, okay. It's a whole container oh, of wow. peanut butter. I wonder, since this is Reese's, I wonder if this is, you know, they sell jars of Reese's. I wonder if that's what that is. It's pure Reese's. Mm -hmm. It's like peanut butter. It's probably, yeah, it says Reese's peanut butter. On oh, that. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder, it says to mix this up. Um, it just says stir, stir and filling a peanut butter mix until well mixed. I did not use a mixer. So I'm using it by hand with a spoon, and I wonder if that's going to be a mistake, but we shall see. I think you should be able to mix it up with a spoon. You should. That's a big old It says butter. mix or stir. It says uh, stir. It says stir, so that's different. If it had said mix, you would have used a mixer. Yeah, so we shall see. That's my filling. Mm. Tastes like peanut butter. They literally just took peanut butter and put it in there. Well, it's, it's uh, portioned. And it's Reese's. And yeah. some places don't sell Reese's. I'm just well. saying it's not a special peanut butter. It's just literally peanut butter. Now, that wasn't hard to do at all. No, it surprised me. I guess the butter helped out a lot. No. But I'm going to pick it up and put it against my chest and stir this up. So I'm going to stir this up, and I'll be back because you don't need to sit here and watch me stir it for five minutes. All right, it says to press this evenly in the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to drop it in pieces, and hopefully I'll work with it. Because it's pretty thick. I don't know. And the bottom's still a little moist. So we'll see. Maybe easier than I'm thinking. I do have to say you get quite a bit of peanut butter. Well, that's, that's quite a bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now this is what I'm thinking. We're just going to take this and just like mush it in. It's not too bad. It does tend to stick a little bit to the spoon, but it's not too horrible. Okay. And then take your topping pouch it's been sitting in the hot water. Hopefully it's softened up some. And it says squeeze it for 10 seconds just to kind of mix it all up in here. Okay, cut the top off. I don't see a pool thing on there. So it, it literally says cut. So we'll cut it off. We'll spread it. Once it starts coming out, I'll spread it. I'm just going to use the same spoon. 
go on. It, I just read this. It says for ease and cutting, use plastic knife. Oh, once That's it's all done. Yeah, once it's all done. Um, it looks like I probably could have warmed this chocolate up just a little bit more, and it probably would have spread easier, but it's spreading okay. Um, we're not going for perfection, are we? No. wonder why a plastic knife would make it easier. Maybe to it doesn't stick it. as much. I guess so. I think that looks fun. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Got some high spots too, so. I think that's enough to give you chocolate in every bite. So anyway, that's pretty much what it looks like. Now what you do is you have to take it and it says refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Sorry, I had to look that clean. Um, refrigerate it for 30 minutes and then it says cover and refrigerate leftovers for up to two days. So it has to be sitting in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then it's ready to cut and serve. So we're gonna let this refrigerate and move back. I'm here to try this out. Uh, it's been over a half an hour. We do not have a plastic knife to cut it with like it suggested. So we're just going to cut it like this. Now we're, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Now remember, it's supposed to make 15. So I'm going to see. I don't know how how to cut it. If you do that one, then half another one. And then do this one? Yeah. Okay. And then you got to do two cuts that way. Okay, so I did one, two, three. I did four cuts. Yeah, which made five hunks. And then two this way? Yeah. And they're about the size that I said. <laughs> oh, you're going to get it? I was going get to get it for you. I just want to show how big they are. That's, Ooh, that's about how big pretty. they are. I like the, the, um, difference in color yeah i don't know if you saw from the side but yeah that's that's a pretty bar and if i'd softened that frosting up just a little bit more it probably would spread better to the edges but it's okay that's very good mm -hmm. lots of peanut butter flavor it's a very creamy um, smooth peanut butter too. Yes. And I like the grainy chocolate crust. It like is. Like a sugary grainy mm -hmm. crust like an Oreo uh, crust. It's really good. I don't know that it tastes like a Reese's cup, but it is it's, a really good peanut butter dessert. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I do love the peanut butter in it though. You know, some peanut butter spell. This is a... Mm -hmm. Definite win. That that's very very good. Now, well, it's real peanut butter. I mean, this was easy as far as it being no bake. However, I think we've done the kind that you bake, and we've done these. I think I prefer the ones that you bake. I don't remember. You don't remember? Um, just because I like a warm dessert over a cool dessert. That's just my pr personal preference. And I like a cool dessert. Right. Kevin prefers a cool dessert. So, but they're both excellent. I don't remember the price difference on these, but, um, but this was really, really good. And I wouldn't have even noticed it um, if Rembrandt hadn't point, pointed it out because we had just bought the, the ones that you bake. Well, who would have thought there was a no-bake version yeah. too? It's, it was excellent though. Peanut butter and chocolate, if you like those, yeah, you pretty have no easy. problems. And if this. you're gonna make them again and again, then you're gonna be able to do it quicker and oh, quicker. Yeah. You'll get used to doing oh, yeah. it. So um, this was great. Hopefully you can find them in your area and thanks for watching. Okay, what we did to cover it, we just put it in one of these gallon sized freezer bags, slipped it right in, ziplocked it, and we'll put it in the refrigerator. It'll keep for up to two days, it said. So that's what we're gonna do.